2K just dropped some huge NBA 2K22 news. A new city, a new park on current gen, my career, my team, everything. And we're going to get right into it in this video because this is really super exciting, guys. Yo, what's up guys, it's Power DF back with another video. So, first of all, I want to go over what the new city on next gen and on current gen, what the part's going to look like. So, first thing, they said all aboard the 2K Cruise on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC platforms, this is current gen, NBA 2K gamers will show out and compete in an all new dedicated basketball community. A neighborhood built on the spacious decks of a sailing cruise ship. It's giving me like Titanic vibes. Exploring hoop and nautical luxury and when the cruise docks in exotic locales throughout the season, make your way to the excursion counter to participate in shoreside events, all taking place completely off the ship. So you come off the ship, so it seems like the park is on the ship, you come off the ship, you can play in events, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like super hype. If, if this is what it's gonna be like, they really went all aboard. They went they went all out for current gen, guys. So that sounds like super, super cool. Just like the whole, I can picture it now. Again, it kind of reminds me also of like Old Town in 2K15. If you guys play 2K15, I know that was so long ago, but Old Town in 2K15 when they had like the helicopter and a little like ship, that kind of the vibes it gives me with that whole 2K crew, so. We're gonna see what it's like. Now for next gen, they said a living, breathing city. So it seems like they have a city, but they said step into an all new city, teeming with life, activity, and inactivity. <laughs> I don't know why they said activity and interactivity. Like, isn't that the same thing? Like, they need to calm down. But activity and in in inactivity, NPCs, non-playable characters populate the fresh city while my players from all over the world compete in the highest level of playground basketball. An all new quest system for 2K22 and engages my players with creative content while offering new ways to level up and earn rewards in the re-envisioning re of the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S basketball communities. So we're gonna have a brand new city. One thing key I heard them say is we're not gonna have Rickyville anymore. So if you play next gen, you're gonna be able to come straight in. Rickyville, they said slow people down so it won't be back in 2K22. But this is a huge part about next gen that I think is gonna interest a lot of people. Match making options in the city um, for next gen. The city opens up new and quicker alternatives to get into online hoops. My players can enter select match making buildings to be placed into immediate competition. So no more waiting for games if you don't want to. Matchmaking sessions will be available for a number of game types and will contribute to all my player progress. So I think, I don't know, but what this sounds like to me, and this is what gets me hyped. If you waiting for a game, you can't get a game on the twos or threes, it, it appears like in the city, you could just hop in and get an immediate game whenever you want. Like, that kind of sounds lit. So I don't know, that kind of sounds like the Pro Am 3v3, Pro Am 3v2, but almost like better. So that, that's, that, sound, that already sounds cool right there. And then it says, more news ahead. So this is not all the news for Park. More new features, more new content away all my players in the all new city in the new NBA 2K22 neighborhood. So new neighborhood for um, current gen, new city for next gen. They're going all out and to stay, stay tuned in early September to discover more. So that's probably where we're gonna see the trailer and all of that. So also I wanna go over, they said they had some gameplay changes. Um, they're gonna release more and coming out in August with a gameplay reveal. But offense, they said breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos, precision jump shooting, dunking in traffic and pulling off all alley oops have all become more skill based. Basketball IQ and stick skills play even bigger role in separating top offensive players. Now I don't know what that means because they always say that. Okay, um, IQ matters more. Duncan matters more. Like I don't really know what that means. We're gonna have to see the actual gameplay ourselves. Defense and then they're not okay. Is the gameplay the same from Nesting and Courage? Because they're not. They're not really. They're not really telling us much here. Defense a completely revamped shot contest and blocking system. Highlight an arsenal of new defensive tools at your disposal. Playing suffocating defense on the perimeter and in the paint has never felt more rewarding. Giving elite defenders the ability to truly change the outcome of the game. So that sounds crazy. 
Okay, so season. So they're gonna have seasons um, come back right here. So across fan favorite experiences, seasons allow players to extend and enhance their hoop amb ambitions long after the game's launch. Free for all 2K22 gamers and my team, my career in the W mode. It brings more content. So this like this kind of sounds like the Game Pass thing that people were suggesting. So in my team, my career in W, it brings more content, more rewards, and more ways to play. And this year, seasons will introduce an all new way to level up your my player and earn inside of my player prizes in the city and in the neighborhood. So they're gonna have seasons added to the city and to the neighborhood encouraging that shit. Like it's gonna, the park is gonna be so good. Like, I don't know, like this is what a lot of people want. Just having like, I guess they're gonna have like exciting new rewards every single, like it's not, I, I'm thinking like every single season. Like I, like, I know that sounds what season said, but probably like in the fall, they have some one set of rewards. In the winter, you get to have objectives you can complete. Like that sounds new for amazing content. I'm really excited about that. Now my team, you know, I'm not too much into that, but they have a my team draft. They're gonna have the cross gen progress where you can carry over again. Throughout the year in NBA 2K22, they're gonna have a lot of new challenges, rewards and events, and they're gonna make it really fresh in my team. So. That's gonna be exciting. That's gonna be really good for people that like my team a lot. And finally, last but not least, let's go over to my career. So, in NBA 2K22 for PS5 and Xbox X and S, my career in the all new city become one. And, and a groundbreaking experience for NBA 2K. Embark on your personal journey to the pros. A sprawling my career life by exploring the city, seeing new and familiar faces, and hooping your way to exciting new heights. Players on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC will play out the new 2K22 narrative in a dedicated traditional My Career experience. So it seems like it's the same My Career experience, but it's just like on oh, Nuts Gen is like in the city and everything. So hidden talents in the NBA 2, and this is only for Nuts Gen right part this part. In NBA 2K22, dreams and ambitions in My Career stretch beyond the hardware floors. Players can now pursue side ventures to build a profound, lucrative, and trendy spaces. Brush up against the fashion world, where the art of promotion will drive your success as a mogul. Or get involved in the hip hop business, where your music talent opens up an intriguing laden industry. So you can, oh my God, you can get involved in like, oh, oh my God. So my career is just not, I've been asking for this for a long time, where you can do like different stuff outside of basketball in my career. So that sounds actually cool just to play my career. Moving up in the professional world means expanding your home lifestyle. Central to your my career narrative and progress, your personal hub represents your place in the journey to the NBA. It's a profile and ambitions level up, so too will your home base in the city. So you can get like a mansion in the city? Is that what they're trying to say? Nah, that, that is looking, that's looking crazy for the nuts and experience right there. So more to the journey, my career in NBA 2K22 will feature fresh phases and engaging storylines. And this year getting drafted in the NBA is only the star of your basketball narrative. More is gonna be released in September. Then they just talk about my NBA and my WNBA. In NBA 2K22, team management is about more than just the players on their court. It's about the personnel that scout the team, train them and coach them. And basically if you have really good staff and that's gonna help you, but all these new features sound really, really good. I don't know, like, I'm really hyped about NBA 2K22. I'm starting to feel the hype. Tell me right now, if you guys watch this video, what feature are you most hyped about seeing in NBA 2K22? Let me know. Let me know what you guys wanna see more of them add when we get to see about the badges and the gameplay. I know that's gonna be key. So, and also tell me, do you guys think, are you guys more excited about current gen? Are you guys more excited about next gen? Are you excited about both? Leave it all in the comment section below. I just want to give everybody's thoughts. I'm going to keep you guys updated with the news as it comes, man. But other than that, I am out.